Currently fourth in the East, the Black and Red could find themselves outside the playoff picture by the end of the weekend. For the only time this season, RSL battles DC United, and it comes your way next. Jason Kreis is Zango's starting lineup tonight. The only change, Paulo Jr. up top with Sabaria. Yeah, same back four now. Borges alongside Kwame Watson, Cerebo. That diamond formation, Johnson on the left. Grabelson will go tonight a 4-4-2 in his Zango starting lineup. Yeah, and he had to make some changes with Chris Korb, Dayan Yakovic coming in. Brandon McDonald, last minute change. He'll play on that right hand side. Real Salt Lake has to track throughout the course of 90 minutes. And we're underway here tonight at Rio Tinto Stadium. Brian talked about the tired legs of DC United. Fifth match in 14 days. RSL had a stretch like that, but now they've had better than a week off since their Friday night affair in Philadelphia last week. And Jason Price even gave the guys two or three days away from training before he even brought them back in. Fit their circle with one hop there and be sent back in by DC United. And keep an eye on the number five center back, Dan Yakovic, a player that went through the warm up there. Keeping an eye on him. Yakovic is going to go away with Canada. He's having a bit of, a, of a, an issue with his hamstring and his groin. So there's a little bit of concern whether he would even play tonight. Lightning striking behind the stadium on the mountains behind us, and we're going to go into a weather delay. The lightning is too close. We've had two strikes within the last 90 seconds within view of the stadium, and the officials are going to clear the players to the locker rooms now and off those metal benches, which lasted almost two hours due to thunderstorms. Had one in Chicago a few years back. Saw Chad Barrett score two goals in the final 15 minutes of the match. Let's see if RSL can take advantage here in Palo. Not much of a touch off that flick on by Sabarillo. It'll be a goal kick for Bill Amin. 53 MLS games. He hands out 3.6 yellow cards on average. He's just given eight red cards, only pointed to the spot seven times. He absolutely is a referee that lets the game play out. Look at Javi. Javi on the run. Javi with a drive from distance. Oh, and Amid just got a piece of it. Bill Amid kept it 0-0 with a beautiful save that time. As Morales pulled the trigger from distance, corner kick RSL. Well, Real Salt Lake needs to continue to put the foot on the pedal. Watch this skill check. Whoop! Right through the legs of Marcelo Saragossa. No pressure whatsoever. And Bill Hamid, it looked like that might have just clipped the top of the crossbar. Very kitchen back the other way for DC. Long ball out wide. Pontius by himself settles top of the box. Pontius in. Pontius the shot. Oh, tried to get it far post and just fired it wide. Well, you can see the idea from Chris Pontius. What a fantastic first touch. Brings it down on his chest, running towards goal. And it's a perfectly weighted ball. Watch this touch. Settles in front of him at the angle. Lines up, he wants the right foot, sets himself up. Little Deke just didn't get enough of a curl to find that far post side net. And he'll settle it. Here comes De Rosario. Pontius with a long run. Dero with a drive. Off the post! The woodwork saves RSL. What a drive by Dero. He's got it in the 18 again, and Borchers will break this one up. Now once again, the transition game falling in favor of DC United. And the idea from Chris Winger is trying to keep possession. Give Leonard Pohoy a ton of credit because he created that goal scoring chance by just running that play down. RSL back the other way. Paulo to Beckerman. Kyle will chip it in. Bobby's in the box. Couldn't keep his balance. Four clears. 30 minutes into this game, DC United has done a fantastic job matching the intensity and the level that has been set forth from Real Salt Lake in those opening minutes. Here's a look at that last drive again. You see the chance, Dero, and, and by Nick DeLeon making that run, it creates a space and the time for Dero. He gets a hold of it, and it looks as if Nick Romano got a slight touch. But Dero, from this distance, unmarked. Yep, he did. Romano gets a touch, pushes it off the crossbar. What a great save by Nick Romando. Paulo. To Beckerman. Tried to slot it to Sabo. Make it grab a boy. Ball loose and cleared by DC. Held in by Johnson. Left footed drive. Big save. Bill Amid. Best foray forward we've seen in a while from Real Salt Lake. A ball poorly cleared by DC United. Dudar just comes out, and Will Johnson from distance keeps it on frame. And you can see Bill Amid not happy with what he saw in front of him. Shy of where he needed to be. 
Forb keeps it in for D.C. And Silvio Petrescu blows his whistle and tells us that 45 minutes of soccer have been played here at Rio Tinto Stadium. Goal scoring opportunity for Real Salt Lake. Good job by the left back for D.C. Hollow Jr. into the box. Grab a boy back. Johnson. Will across to Sabo again trying to get it back to Will. Beckerman resets. Grab a boy. He'll flick back to Paulo. Left footed ball across. Loose in cut. And it's in! It's a goal for Johnson! What a ball in and what a finish by Will Johnson! 49th minute, 1 0 Real Salt Lake. A great job from Ned Grabovoy. Little flick, roll with his heel into space. Opportunity starts. And watch Javi. Challenge come watch the roll a roll. Paulo gets his head up. Ball clipped in, deflected. That's just heart. That is desire. That is a great job from Will Johnson. Canadian International commits fully coming across the top of the six yard box. Just when you think Bill Hamid's got it, watch Johnson. Top of the screen. Cuts inside, gets in between two defenders, snap down header. Great goal, Real Salt Lake. Lewis, Neil Long, Tan, and Ethan White all available for Ben Olsen. Here comes Pahoy, the Colombian, into the box. Pahoy around two defenders. Pahoy, a big save. Romando came out, knocked it over the end line. It'll be a corner. Well, a great job from Pahoy. He does a good job just offsetting the feet of both Tony Beltran and Nat Borchers. Great read, though, from Nick Romando. Watch Pahoy. Little stutter, little step. And Romano comes out strong, recognizes there's an opportunity to cut down that angle. Stays big, forces that ball out, gives a corner kick opportunity to DC United. Line drive in. Ooh, Romando came to punch and that ball got through. That's the exact reason why you have Yakovic sitting in front of Nick Romando. He's so big, he's so strong. Comes out. That's exactly what Marcelo does. Ball in, Morales. Watson, Sarah Bo. Shot the goal! It's a goal no, for Kwame! He's gonna call it back. Oh, goodness. He's gonna say it's a handball. Oh, goodness. Yep. Not a ton of argument, but I'd like to see this again. Did, did, it, did it hit his hand? I think that ball surprised Kwame Watson Sarabo as he turns his body around. And keep an eye on his arms. Both arms come in centrally when it's clipped in. He's in an onside position. No reason for the referee to raise his flag. Watch it come in. Yep, ball just pops up on him. He's going to say it's a handball. Oh, my. Left hand, right there. Just ever so much. Zero in. On the line, cleared out. Neal fires high. That's two balls from that same corner that Di Rosario has put inside the six and right on the goal line. Well, he did. In play. And that's that. Petrescu blows the whistle and tells us after a 90-minute weather delay, 90 minutes of soccer have been played here tonight at Rio Tinto Stadium.